I like to do my Cassidy dent, 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 dent. You can't see it, it needs full body. It was good, from, I promise you. Hello, hi, yes, let's go full body here. Welcome everybody, this is Tonight with Cassidy. That's currently Tonight with Dan Haggerty. Filling in, she has the night off. I'm sure a lot of people do, it is spring break after all, so people are enjoying their time off. Speaking of spring and celebrating and having some fun, uh, as the weather eventually warms up and you start to get more in the mood for a warm weather cocktail, though I will say uh, a, a warm weather cocktail is good year round. I'll drink one on Christmas. Don't worry about it. But um, we should bring in Ricky Gomez right now talking to us about Palomar, your wonderful bar restaurant that I've been to personally. My wife and I had a date night there and you did not disappoint. Thank you, thank so, you so much, much for, for having us. Well, thank, thank you for having me. Yeah. Us. Um, so uh, tell me about this signature cocktail we're going to talk about first. I think you should mix it up. Tell Great. people about it and then we will chat over. So like you said, sips. cocktails can transport you. So this is a cocktail that is most most famous from the Hotel Nacional in Cuba. You know, we are Cuban inspired at Palomar and a lot of people know about the mojito and the daiquiri, but this is one cocktail that has a couple of more ingredients to it that is one of our favorites here at the bar at Palomar. Now this is a big one you guys are showcasing because this is a kind of a big time of the year for you. It's celebrating it is. an anniversary which is a big milestone for yes. restaurant. Yes, so right? this upcoming Sunday is gonna be officially one year for us, which in the food and beverage industry is one of those first little milestones you wanna to get to make sure that, you know, again, in this industry, with in a city that has such good food and drink, you know, it's great to have a nice, nice uh, one year anniversary milestone there. So what are, we, what are we tossing in now? So we're starting off with just a nice citrus base. So we just have a little bit of simple syrup, a little bit of lime juice, and now those tropical flavors of pineapple going in, now, when you, when you have kind of a, a, a Cuban influence when it comes to drink and to food, there are a few places better on earth to start than some of the cuisine, some of the, the cocktails that come out of, that, out of that country. Yeah, the food is really comfort food, and that's what we do at Palomar. You know, there's nothing more Cuban than pork, rice, and beans. <laughs> you know, so there's something that co really comforting about those things. And for me, when I wanted to open up a bar, I knew I was going to be there long hours, so I wanted to make sure there was going to be food that I'd never get tired of eating. So trust me, I never get tired of eating this warm, delicious, comforting food because it reminds me of my mom's cooking. You know, there's something about going to a place and having the flavors that you grew up with. Mom taught you how to cook. Who taught you how to mix these drinks? So this is one of those things that you just got to learn on the job for me. Yeah. You know, you find somebody who's better than you, you watch them, and then you just try to emulate that. All right. So we have all of our ingredients here. We have our aged rum, apricot, pineapple, lime, a little bit of simple syrup. One thing we do special at Palomar, you can add absinthe to any drink for 25 cents because a little bit of my background is from New Orleans, and absinthe is a big flavor in New Orleans. So this cocktail, I'm just going to add a little bit of absinthe to it. No, so absinthe used to get, it, ha it wasn't it like illegal for a time? Right, Why, right. Wh wh where'd that all come well, from? Well, a lot of it was during the Prohibition movement. Yeah. So in the United States, we had Prohibition. In Europe, they didn't have Prohibition, but there were spirits that were vilified during the temperance movement. And absinthe was one of those things that did get banned. So you do know, not fear the absinthe. Do not fear the absinthe. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's just a nice floral licorice flavor to it. So I made two. So yeah, you're gonna work. Show, you're, show gonna, you're gonna work for your cocktail. I thank you. No, you're an expert, right? You've you've been in competitions and all this stuff when it comes to making drinks. Yeah, I've been doing this for about 16 years now. I've I've won some local and national competitions. So show all we're gonna the, do is right you, over our shoulder, treat it like a piston, just back and forth. Got it. And you gotta just you start. You gotta have a good time. All right, go all for right. it. You need to stop All right. You're, yeah. You, whenever you're it's tired. Just, it's just on feel. You gotta, oh, I, you gotta remember to breathe during those shaking <laughs> right. moments. Uh-huh. All right, so we're just gonna strain these into our coops. So when, when James Bond is ordering shake and not stirred, what's that do to the drink? Right, so shaking a cocktail just aerates it. So a martini that doesn't have citrus or any egg white in it traditionally is stirred. So when James Bond had the shaken not stirred that was almost a faux pas because a martini should traditionally be stirred but he liked his aerated in that cocktail so here we shake it because we have all these citrus in ingredients and we have this nice frothy layer on top as well from the protein that's in the pineapple juice simple garnish with a cherry uh, let, me, let me let it linger there for a moment see how yeah. pretty it looks yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna go in let's jump in let's give it a try cheers thank you again for coming on cheers my pleasure It's unbelievable. Wow, that is yeah. a great cocktail. I know it, it, we said it would uh, inspire the summer, but yeah. like I said, 
You can drink that year round. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gomez, for coming thank in. You Appreciate so much. it. You guys My are pleasure. celebrating one year. One year this uh, you Sunday. You see the date right here this Sunday, March 31st, 4 p.m. to midnight. You see the address on your screen. Go there, check it out. The drinks are fantastic. Again, I went there with my wife, and the ambiance is great. The food is great. So a little personal endorsement from me as well. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Cheers.